Today it's Belgian waffles. Heat water to 110, make sugar and yeast, and let stand for five minutes. Got the hot water just from the sink. Where's the sugar? It moves too fast. Mm -hmm. Two teaspoons of sugar. And what I figured out is that mm -hmm. if I use my fingers to the point in the hottest water that comes out of our faucet, by the time I'm done stirring the sugar to the point where it's dissolved, it's usually right about the right temperature so you don't kill your yeast. You gotta be able to put your hand in there without burning yourself. And we got our Flashman's dry yeast. We messed up and bought this baby at Sam's and it's just enormous when you don't do a whole lot of baking. You keep it in the fridge, in the Ziploc bag, in between and it keeps it. Plus for a package of yeast, we figured out the package of yeast is about two and a half teaspoons of material. See back here, it says to let that sit, sit and dissolve and foam for 10 minutes. And we'll see you back here and show you what it looks like. Two and a half cups. Calls for two and a half cups of lukewarm milk. So we are gonna go ahead and get the milk out because we always forget to do that and let it sit. I kind of microwave the milk to get it pretty warm for the waffles, just in small increments. Sam's only had the one pound sticks of butter that were salted, which we always get salted. So we need four ounces for the recipe. We got the winner out. That should be roughly four ounces. Yeah, it's a quarter of a pound. Should roughly be four ounces. See how right. That's almost right on. We have to melt it. Just melted the butter in the microwave about 35 seconds. Add flour, sugar, and milk, butter, vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, salt, and egg yolks. So that's what we're doing now. Two and a half cups of flour. It's like a medium sized bowl. I think that's the yeast has been sitting 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Two and a half cups of flour. This is what our yeast looks like after 10 minutes, nice and, nice and foamy. We still got a few minutes for it to let go before we add all the goodies to it. I still haven't got the milk up to. The milk. He usually puts in the microwave about 40 seconds, three times or so when he stirs it with the spoon until the spoon feels warm. This recipe calls for two egg yolks and two egg whites, so we gotta separate them. My favorite egg separator. Uh oh, makes it more difficult. Oops. Come on, booger. How do you know it? Okay. See how close to 110 we get. He's high, he's high. Well, hi. What's that about 115? Yeah, uh, getting close to 120 again. A little bit. A little cream of tatar? A little cream of tatar. Seems to let everything set up. Are those beaks stiff? <laughs> Nice and stiff. 
I'm adding a quarter cup of sugar. So the yeast is set. And nice, nice and foamy. Nice and foamy now. Add it to the milk and the sugar. Mm -hmm. Pretty much going to add everything now. Yeah. Yeast are in between. I, I've not really found that it makes a whole lot of difference. And here comes the milk. The butter. One teaspoon of vanilla. One quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. We're using an eighth of a teaspoon, so two. Quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. We have eight teaspoons, so we got one. An eighth teaspoon of salt. Two egg yolks. Alright, that shows to mix it all Get up. It all with the electric mixer. our batter because we did not sift the flour and it's a little lumpier it's than a little lumpier than you see those lumps lumpier and it's so not lumpier we just heated the pot up for just a quick second it's not on the flame just to put it in a warm pot keep the yeast active and trying to get rid of those lumps i guess uh pre-sifting the flour at the beginning you wouldn't have to do this step and sometimes we don't have to do this or sift at the beginning. Just different days. This is an active yeast recipe, so it says for once you get to this point to cover it and let it rise for 30 minutes. Remember what it looks like. It'll look different in a half hour or so. Remember what it looked like a little while ago? I think it is bigger. The yeasties are doing their business. It'll flatten out in a hurry, though. It doesn't have to. It, it can even sit longer if you can't get right back to it. Yeah, you can refrigerate this batter once it's made and put Make it in the refrigerator them. overnight. Oops, and now we're gonna fold the egg, egg whites in. My stiffy people do the extra oh, stuff yeah. now, don't they? Yeah, they do. Look at that. Now I'm gonna make for a fluffy waffle. All right. And then the folding. Oh yeah. Does it have to sit again afterwards? No. It'll deflate a good bit while I'm doing this because all of the... Gentle. Pockets. Yeah. Gently. It's the folding term. Mm, folding. For me, folding means kind of smashing it up against the edge. You go into all those lumps right? Yeah. Hold it in. Let's try to try just mash them against the edge. I've made this a lot. The kids love it. And no place that we've found has any comparable waffles that are made with live yeasts. We even had to order the Belgian waffle maker. Yeah, they're nice and crispy on the outside. Very light. And put some butter and maple syrup. Oh my goodness, so good. Mm -hmm. right, I think that's about good enough. Look, see the air bubbles? It's fluffy. Little yeasties, bread, beer, risen. There's no beer in our waffles. <laughs> we can fix that. I know. I don't think it'll go well with my maple soup. <laughs> I bet you we can find a good pair. It's active. Right. <clears throat> see the bubbles. As far as our waffle, the maker, waffle maker, I can't recommend Cook's Country America's Test Kitchen enough. 
The recipes are always spot on and as are their equipment reviews. Whenever I go buy a goodie for the kitchen, I always try and look up and see if America's Test Kitchen, they know what they're doing. Or the equipment is good. Is it already on? It's on. Okay. The little green lights will come on when it's is ready. Is that a paid subscription? Yeah, it's my only online subscription. You pay yearly, it's about, about how much? Like 40 bucks, 40, yeah. 50 bucks now, maybe even 60. I think I've ever felt was worth it. We get a lot and of renewed it many years after year after year. Sometimes you forget to renew it right away because we don't have it on auto renew. And then we go and we're going to buy something or look up a recipe. And it's like, oh, I need my America's Test Kitchen. The bubbles are so cool. See it? That's what makes it nice and fluffy. Up to 10. Those don't just look like air bubbles. They look clumpy. Those air bubbles. Are little uh, meringues too. Air bubbles and meringue bubble uh, lumps. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just because it has a, a pouring spout. I'm do it just until I get it filled up. And waffles are the quickest way to make a gigantic mess out of your kitchen. Add a lot of steps. They're so good. It's definitely a Saturday thing. About how long does that take? Mm -hmm. Ten minutes, five, eight, eight, seven, eight, ten, ten minutes, somewhere in there. Oh, really? They turn back green and quit puffing. Okay. So much steam. Okay. Top one seems ready. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little uneven. Mm. A little bit. Maybe the other side's better. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. There's the presenting side. Looks good. Turn. Turn the air on everything. Oh, oh, is that one yeah. better? You like that one? That one looks good. They come out pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, They're no. good, crispy. And then we don't usually have to pan again. Yeah, no, not usually. Uh, how many does it make? We'll see, I guess. Usually about five or six. I don't know. I know some of the kids have two. I usually only have one. The batter will sit in the fridge, but why not go ahead and make it all and then just reheat the... Oh, no. Oh, you need more. This will be four. Mm, it's crispy, but it's good. Waffle. Mmm. Need more than that. It's so fluffy and crispy. But like light, it's good. Make your waffles.